right, so we came back to Idaho. We had a dilemma. I wasn't able to bring my big bike back with me. So I had to find another mistress. I got a bad feeling about this. It was not easy. I ended up with this. 1982 Honda XL 185. Put your helmet on, we'll be reaching speeds of three. And sadly, one of the best reviews I could find on it was by someone in Afghanistan. So, it gives you kind of the idea of the quality of vehicle that we are working with. Hail to the king, baby. This thing runs pig rich. So first time running dual camera setup here. I don't even know if the one camera is aimed correctly or not. I don't no! think it is. So the weather still isn't very good. We had snow last week somehow. Groovy. I just, I do not know. I do not know. It's a piece of crap, it doesn't work. a few places we can go ride but it's kind of like rush hour time so it's kind of not the best we figure got to get some riding time in right speed is 26 oh my speed is zero that's how much of a boss I am that's about how fast this bike is though Let's see if we can follow this guy You take a motorcycle, cut the front half of it off, and apparently you, you made it with a Volkswagen, I don't know. And it, you don't have working brake lights or anything. A clue, a clue! Well, we'll see what that is in a little bit. Sitting here, sitting here, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Imagine you're, you know, five, six miles out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, the bike dies. What do you do then? Well, in that case, you gotta call somebody. That's a nice looking road there. You gotta try and call somebody or start pushing the bike or do some combo, see if you can fix the bike. Stupid me, I don't have any tools on me. Right now, this is not my this is not my primary bike. So if everybody's making fun of me for being an idiot. Well, probably right, but Oh yeah, cool thing about this bike has the original front tire from 1982 with 4,592 miles on it. Now I know you're thinking, what kind of psycho crazy person are you? And I'll tell you, uh, it's not hard. It's quite easy actually. I had a 250 Honda, this is a 185, there's 1983, I actually missed that bike even though it was underpowered and kind of weird. It had the same front tire on it, I know, you are impressed, but it had 9,000 miles on it when I took it off. And I wonder 
I think I am permanently ingrained with a panic, a front end slide panic, because I dumped that bike so many times off road and other things where you're like, hmm, wonder what the front end's gonna do. Bam, you're on the ground. You could always count on the front end to drop you. That guy's wondering what the heck's going on. He's going, dang, that guy is cool with a 30-year-old bike. Because I wish I was that cool. Oh, got the freaking local drug dealers here. I can reveal that much. Okay, so this, if we're going to top this bad boy out, it's going to probably be somewhere out here. Um, I want to lower my backup camera, which is you, down into this um, area that I, I have some rope and climbing gear to go into. I'm scared to lower the good camera, you know, because what, what if it goes down there and it's gone? Then I either got to go in after it or, you know, figure something out. Oh man, we are in we are in top gear. Not the British television show either. We won't jinx ourselves by talking about the bike dying out here, we hope. Super high pitched screaming so it's gonna sound dorky. Oh you died, didn't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I may have deserved that. Okay, so we're gonna Was, did we have to do it this way? Alright, so this guy has his stuff fenced off. That's not the one I'm talking about. Well, that one is kind of cool. Oh man, I think they tore it down. Holy cow. Okay, so, confessional. I have a confession. Secret, secret. I got a secret. I have some footage from the other bike, the beloved 650 back at home. Yeah, they tore it down. Um, or did they? A clue, a clue! I cried wolf. There it is. We got no one behind us. Okay, so that was different. That was very, very different at one point. Um, it's like they worked on it or did something with it. So I do have footage from my 650 when it was out here. And I can upload that, but I'm probably gonna cut the audio because I was like singing or screaming or something during it. All right, so this is the road the abandoned house is on. Actually, there's a couple of them. It's so off so simple. Really quick. That way our, our chances of criminal trespassing are a lot smaller here.